In this module, our focus will be on men's power to commit physical crimes and linguistic crimes against women. As the title tells us, here both feminists and feminist linguists join hands to raise their voice. The first part that relates with men's power, actually the feminists point out, it exists because of, because of the culturally maintained patriarchy. In patriarchal societies, actually men has been given power over women. Women are like their property. They can have physical violence. They are allowed to punish women. Now, even when they commit heinous crimes, like uh, rape, etc. So the system supports them because women don't have access to legal system. They don't have access to media. So because of this, their crime remains hidden and uh, they uh, go scot-free. They can't be punished. Now, it is here that language plays negative role because it is the legal system that protects them. And all laws on which legal system is based, they are in form of language. So it is the use of legal language that provides them protection. And especially the justice system, the court system, and the lawyers, they take support of legal language. So because of this legal jargon, they they give protection to men in, in, in spite of the victim, that is the woman. So similarly, they point out that patriarchy also causes linguistic violence. And it is this point, this is the juncture of interest. This is the common point of interest between feminists and linguists. Here they say that even they use language through their uh, through their uh, un uh, inappropriate remarks, through their jokes, through their street uh, remarks, that they hurt women. And even at workplaces, this har harassment goes on. And that's why the government has felt need to put some restriction on this crime. Now, even in Pakistan, we have laws which punish those who harass women in campuses, or in offices, or in other workplaces.